Hello everyone, my name is Gavin and today I'm going to teach you everything I can about CapCut in 10 minutes. As this is an absolute beginner's guide, let's just start out by downloading CapCut. And lucky for us, it's free. I've put a download link in the description below if you want to follow along or if you want to try it out after the video. Okay, so CapCut has finished downloading. This is CapCut and everything I'm going to show you today is on the free version. So you do not need CapCut Pro to follow along with this. So let's start a new project. After you create a new project, this is what you'll see. So we're just going to get right into it and start importing our videos. And we're going to do this by clicking this import button. Let's click import, select our clips, and then hit import. Great. So now we have our clips here in the media panel. So I want to start the video with this shot of the palm tree. So I'm going to click on this shot and I can either click this plus add to track button, which will add it to our timeline down here, or I can simply drag the clip. This video, as you can see, is about eight or nine seconds, and I don't want it to be that long. I'm gonna cut it at about two seconds. And you can do this by selecting your clip and then going to the end of it and dragging that to your playhead. And if you weren't aware, this little thing right here is your playhead. You can click on it, drag it to anywhere you want, and wherever the playhead is, you will see that image being displayed on the preview monitor. Great, so we have our establishing shot, and now I want to add the video of this surfer after the palm tree shot. Drag the clip down to be after this palm tree shot on our timeline. And as you can see, now you'll have the palm tree going into the surfer shot. Another way you can do this is by dragging the playhead to the end here, and then hitting the plus button and like the palm tree shot I want the surfer shot to be a little bit shorter too let me show you a very useful little shortcut that you can use and that is hitting W on your keyboard basically when you hit W it cuts everything after your playhead and to wrap this up I'm going to drag this underwater shot to the end of our timeline here we can drag from this cut point right here and bring it to our playhead or we can hit Q to delete everything before the playhead so now we have a nice little shot where you see the the beach, you see a surfer, and then you see the sharks. Let's go into the project settings, and these are very important. Come over to modify here in the details panel, and we can change our project name. So I'm going to make it beach vibes, and you will see where your project is being saved. You can change the ratios. If you want to upload your video to Instagram or TikTok, then you would use a 9 by 16 ratio. Resolution, let's click on customized, and you can see that it's 1920 by 1080 now, which is actually full HD. So I'm going to keep it like that. And then for the FPS, you can keep keep 30 or you can drop it down to 24 because this is what a lot of movies use so it'll make it a little more cinematic looking and then we can keep the color space at rec 709 that's what most platforms and people use for their content and now I will hit save so now that we have made a simple video and set up the project settings I'm going to go around the CapCut layout and show you all of the tools that you can use in the software let's say you want to make a cut in this footage right here but keep both of these clips then you can use command B and that will split them into two separate clips. If you don't know the shortcut command B yet, then you can come over to this and hit the split button. I'm going to undo that with command Z or control Z or hitting the back button. The other tool you see here is the add marker tool. And as you can see, you can also use the shortcut M. And this is really useful if you want to make a note on your timeline. So let's say when this new shark comes into the shot, I want to leave a marker, which I can double click on and change the name right here. I can change the color of the marker and we'll click done. Now I'm going to delete this by double clicking it and hitting delete. If we select on any of these clips here in the timeline, we can use the freeze tool, which will make a freeze frame of wherever your playhead is. I can click freeze and then we will have an image in between our video here. We can also reverse videos. So if I want this shark to go backwards, I can click on my clip reverse. It will reverse the clip really quickly. We can also mirror the shot. So if I want this shark to come from the left, I can click on mirror. We have the rotate tool, which basically just does exactly what it sounds like. And and after using that, you can also drag on this little rotate icon. And then we have the resize tool, which allows you to crop it like an image. Now I want to stylize these clips even more. So if we click on a clip, then you can see in this top right, these five different sections populate. Let's keep it simple and start in the video panel. If you don't see any of this, then you just need to toggle the position and size, and then you see these details here. If we want to zoom in, we can use this scale button here, and let's zoom into the palm tree a little bit. Now I want to bring the palm tree back into frame since it's kind of hanging off the edges here. I can either simply drag it in the preview window to do so, or I can use the position keyframes here. We'll type in 50 and negative 100. And now the palm tree is back in the shot. And let's say I want to rotate it down to the right a little bit. I can click on this rotate button 
or drag the little wheel here to rotate our video. And then we have all of these alignment options. So if we want it back in the center, we can click on these two center align buttons. Now let's say I want to zoom in on the surfer here. To do that, we need to use keyframes. So keyframing is a simple way of doing animations within CapCut. So I'm going to drag the playhead to the start of the clip here, and then I'm gonna come up to this little diamond box here beside position and size and click on add keyframe. So at the beginning of the clip here, this is what it will look like. Now I will come to the end of the clip using my playhead here, and I am going to add another keyframe. Now what I'm gonna do is scale this up and drag it so that the surfer is in the middle of my shot. Great, so now we have a simple animation just zooming into the surfer. Now let's click on the shark clip again, and I'm gonna come up to speed up here. And I want the shark to look like it's going a lot faster. So I'm gonna change the times to five times. You can click on curve instead of normal here, and it basically allows you to change the keyframes of your speed. So let's just start with montage here. Starts really slow, goes fast, and then it's slow again. We can also make a custom speed, goes really fast, slows down a lot, and then goes fast again. Now I'm going to show you how you can add music to a video like this. We can use the CapCut built-in audio panel by coming up to audio in this top left-hand corner here and then searching for, let's do beach. So I'm going to just add the track and it will add it to our timeline automatically. Now, when I start it back, we have some music that goes along with our shots. And because I wanna match the length of this audio to the end of this video here, I'm gonna come here to the end, select the audio clip, and then hit W. I'm actually going to fade it out at the end. So all I have to do is select this little dot here and then drag over to the left. And as you can see, the audio drops off really, really smoothly. Also, if you look in the top right hand corner with our audio selected, you can see that the fade out has gone to three seconds. And let's say I want to fade the audio in as well. I can drag the slider. And if we look on our timeline, we get a fade in. And if we want to make the music louder, we can change the volume right here. Another thing that you can do with CapCut is add text to your screen. And we do this by coming up to the text panel in the top left. And you'll see some drop downs. You can have the default text or there are effects. I'm going to select one of the free ones here, this yellowy glow one. And I think that matches the vibes pretty well. Click the plus button or drag it over to where I want it. Then you can change the text here or you can double click right in the preview window, beach, trip, and I'm gonna change the font and we will make the font a little bigger by dragging this slider. Now I want this text to fade in and then fade out. I'm gonna come up to animation here and I'll find this fade in option and click on it. And then I'll come to the out and do fade out as well. And now as you can see, a fade in and a fade out. I'm going to add a color grade to these first two clips so that they match a little bit better. Come over to filters and I'm going to search for a beach filter and I will add the umber filter. As you can see, it shows up on my timeline here. Drag the text above the umber filter in my timeline and now the text is back to normal and I'll drag the umber filter so that it covers the first two clips and now they look a little bit more similar. If you want to do more fine-tuned color grading, you can come over to adjustment and add a custom adjustment. And then in the top right hand corner in the adjustment panel, you will see all of these adjustment options. You can change the temperature. So maybe I want the water to be more blue here and many other things. So I'll drag it to the start and then drag it to the end. Now let's look at the transitions that CapCut has. So come up to the transitions panel, click on that, and I'm going to apply this whoosh transition. So I'm going to come to where the two clips meet and then hit the add to track. And for this second clip, I'm going to use the dissolve transition. Transition. So we'll add that there. And now we have some cool transitions. Now let's check out how you can automatically make captions in CapCut. So I have this little vertical video. I'm going to change the aspect ratio here to 9 by 16 so it fits for Instagram or TikTok. I'm going to come up to the text panel and I'm going to click on auto captions and then I will hit generate. It generates the captions for you and within seconds you have automatic captions here. Let's test out the CapCut auto captions and see if they're any good. You can make your own text style or you can just come to templates over here. Now there aren't a lot of options. These are the mis or beast captions right here if you want to use those. Cap cut auto caption. Finally, let's see how you can export your final video. So for some reason, I made these two videos in the same project. So what I have to do if I want to export just this second video is set an in and out point. So what I can do is hit I on my keyboard at the start of the video then come to the end of the clip and hit O. Then we can come up to the top right and click on export. We can change our title. We can choose where we export the video to. We can select a resolution here, change the bitrate and all of this 
this fun stuff and just hit export. Then once you've exported it, you can see that you can directly upload to your different accounts, but I'm not going to do that right now. So I will simply hit cancel. But now if I come to my folder, I can see the movie file. And so as we can see, we can play it. Let's test out the CapCut auto captions and see if there are any. And we're all finished. I hope this short tutorial was helpful for you. And again, if you want to try CapCut Pro for free, you can click the link below. And as always, thanks for watching.